Hello my friends, how are you all doing? I bring you guys today a new Windows 11 tutorial and on this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can get rid of all of these things that you have right here, apps and more on Windows 11 to the bloated. It's especially useful if you are using Windows 11 into an old computer and even in non-supported hardware. So let's start right into the tutorial. I'm going to let you guys in the description down below the link to this GitHub. It's made by Wilt by Bell and the program is called This is Queen 11. You want to scroll down when you are right here and here into downloads, click on right as release, download, and you want to download the zip file right here. Click on it, now you want to open in the folder. Now you already want to close the explorer. You want to right click into it and to extract all. Click on extract, now the folder will open automatically and you can double click into this program. It's going to tell you that Windows protected your PC, but this is a well-known app. It's not going to hurt your PC at all. So you want to click in more info and to click into run anyway. Once more, you want to click in yes. And now that it's open, we want to do all the modifications that we want into our Windows 11. The first things that I will do is to go in system. Here you can see the build that you are at. I'm right now into a virtual machine. So I have a little bit of an older build, but this will also work into newer one. You want to expand this menu and right here underneath, you see that it's a button that say check. You want to click into check and it's going to show you everything that it recommends to be fixed. To be fixed, they mean to delay it, to disable it, to take it out, things that you don't really need to make your PC faster. For example, like use apps and dark themes, use Windows dark theme, disable clear fluent designs effect, disable snap assist, disable widgets, align taskbar to the left, small taskbar and icons, and you can read everything. Of course, before making any changes into your Windows, I would recommend that you read all of them and you're sure that you don't need any of these features. For example, if you need the XPS document writer, or if you want to have the game DVR feature, you can activate it. For example, I don't need the fax printer, so I'm going to move it. This is one part that I recommend you to take out or to really look at it, the app's permission. Because if, for example, you use your camera or your microphone to record gameplay videos in OBS, to make video calls, anything like that, you're going to have to go inside of the settings menu and to give access to that application to the camera. I would recommend you simply uncheck all of them. And when you are really happy with the results, you want to click into fix issues. This is going to take some time, so you just wait until it's done. Here on the right side, you can see all the preview of everything that is doing the program on your system right now. But you can see already, it's already set the taskbar to the left side, make it smaller, and you still have here every program. Now, when this is done, you want to click into the apps, and here are all the apps that come with Windows 11. You can see there are a lot of them. For example, you have Bing News, Bing Weather, the gaming app, Get started and get help. Microsoft Office Hub, OneDrive, Paint, and everything that you can imagine. What I'm going to do is to make this version of Windows in this virtual machine as clean as I can. When you click into Add All and you move them into this place, this is the recycle bin. You could still restore some of them or all of them to the other place. But now what I'm going to do is to click into Empty Recycle. It's going to ask you if you really want to empty the recycle bin and delete all of the apps in it. And yes, a noise on installing all of them. Wait until this is done. Now let's click once more into the that. As you can see, it could not only install all of them. It can happen that some of these apps, they are really necessary for the use of Windows 11. So they are not going to be able to uninstall them. Now let's check in here. And this is already looking a little bit better. Some apps that you see right here, they are not installed in your system. You can see if you click on them, then we'll start to download them and install them. So what you can do is to right click in all of them and click simply into uninstall. This is only the placeholder. Now, inside of here, you have another thing that you can change and this is right here, no system apps. These are all of the system apps that normally they are really important, but not all of them. For example, calculator, add it. Windows Store, I don't want to have it, add it. Xbox game, I don't need the parental control. This is a VM, phones control, you also don't need this. If you don't want to use the Microsoft account, but if you want to use the Microsoft account, I recommend that you leave it on like that. Microsoft Edge, well, if you delete this at this point, you're not going to be able to use the internet, you're not going to have any connection, so you will have to bring the Chrome browser or any other browser that you want to use through an USB to your PC, or you can leave it like this, install the browser that you want, and after you can delete. 
I'm going to empty the recycle bin once more. And as you can see right here, the following apps could not be removed. Windows Parent and Control and the Xbox Game Pumping. And as a note right here is that already this app will allow you to remove a few of the most important building apps. Those apps are needed for the experience of Windows 11. So if you see an error message saying the removal failed, can happen, like it happened right here. But as you can see when you open the startup menu and you go into all apps, it's starting to look pretty clean. You only have the file explorer get started, Edge, OneDrive. This is from my virtual machine, Windows security tools and settings. No calculator, no paint, nothing like that. Now let's go into packages. Here they are some of the most useful programs that you can already install and download directly from this app if you need it. For example, you can choose VideoLand, Team, 7zip, Discord, Game, anything that you want. You want to create the package and then to run the installer and it will download and install all the apps that you selected automatically for you. Right here into Automate, you are going to see also some things that you can do. What I would recommend you guys to do right here is to remove OneDrive if you don't really use it, Energy to enable the ultimate performance mode, disable all the privacy services, remove telemetry on third-party apps, and of course, clean the storage, select all of them, and click into Apply Selected. You want to apply the selected task? Yes. Wait until it is done. Going to ask you if you want to enable the ultimate performance power plant? Yes. Of course, if you are in a laptop, I will not recommend you to do this. I will recommend you to put it into balanced mode and only when you are playing a game or doing some intensive task to activate. Okay. The plan is enabled. Now you have to go into settings and to activate it into the additional power setting. And that is pretty much done. If you click right now into the dots, there's a couple of more things that you can do. For example, disable the TPM 2.0 check if you haven't done already. And right here, enable classic contact menus in Windows 11. This is the menu when you right click the screen or into an app and you can have to click more, and more options and everything like that. I already have one video about this, but in this program, it do it automatically for you once you restart your PC. Now guys, you can close and you can see everything that you have now. The things, like I said before, they are not installed, so you want to right-click and uninstall them all, the ones that you don't really need. Now, make one small test and right-click here and open the task manager. More details. And here you can see the only little bit of processors that are running right now in the back. It's using right now about 2-3% of the CPU and 30% of the memory. That is almost nothing, guys. Right, that is pretty much it. Now you have a window that is almost 100% free of bloatware. You can even try to delete a little bit more of the system apps. And if I was you, I will try it first into a virtual machine like this one and not make it into your system. And of course, make a backup of all of your data before you try to make this. Thanks for watching this tutorial, my friends. If you enjoy the content and you find it useful, don't forget to drop a like. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more videos like this one and reviews, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, my friends. And like always, see you on the next time. Bye bye.